Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of This Studio. My name is Adam. It's time for a very highly requested video. It is the entire double helix series from Marimba One. Thanks so much to my studio VIPs, Zero Gravity Percussion, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Mallet Lab, Bradley Crowley, Ryan Carlisle, Rudolph Kralik, Scott Rayler, and Austin Bench. Thank you so much for joining the Studio VIP team. And today's featured studio artist is Elizabeth Chapman. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a Studio VIP or a Studio Artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash M10 or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. I hope you've been well. And yes, it is time to revisit an old classic, the Double Helix series. So one of my earliest episodes on this show, almost three years ago, was the bottom half of the Double Helix series, the fours, the fives, and the sixes. These were some of the first mallets that Marimba One sent to the studio, and I'm eternally grateful for that because it's what started this whole show. So today, we have the entire Double Helix series for you guys. But of course, even though Marimba One sent me all of these mallets, this video is definitely not sponsored by anyone because if it was, I would be getting paid a lot of money and I would be living in a really nice house and I'd be driving a nice car. But yes, the Double Helix series is very, very popular. It was Marimba One's first real mallet series and they introduced this two color weave pattern that is now pretty much replicated everywhere. And I'd say that these are easily in the top 15 of most popular general Marimba mallet series in the world. A lot of students use them, a lot of professionals use them. And if you watched my first review on these mallets, I said that they were a pretty good general series. So first, let's start with the model lineup. The Double Helix has a very round and very standard six models in the series. One, two, three, four, five, six. One is the hardest, six is the softest. All Double Helix models start with the letters DH followed by either B for birch or R for rattan and they all have grey yarn as the primary colour as well as another colour that represents the hardness. Starting off with the 6 which is a very soft and is red and then we have the 5 which is a soft and is pink and then we have 4 which is considered a medium soft and is blue and then we have 3 which is usually considered the medium and is green and then we have the very famous 2 which is considered a medium hard and and it is gold. And finally, we have the one which is like silver old age and is considered a hard. Now the Double Helix is supposed to be like the mid-range mallet series from Marimba One, but you have to remember that Marimba One is an A-tier brand, which means their prices are a bit higher than what you would normally expect. So at least the Double Helix's price hasn't changed. It's still $49.95 US dollars a pair. So that's not really cheap or affordable at all. I'd say that's definitely reaching into more expensive territory. But yeah, other than that, I know a lot of people get Double Helixes when they're on sale. Usually it's buy one, get one free. So that's usually a good time to cop because then you get it for about $25 a pair, that's a good deal. Now I'd say one of the main reasons why Marimba One's mallets are popular is because of the aesthetic factor. They're very nice to look at, the designs are very unique. And the Double Helix series is no different, it's very eye-catching with the two different colours. And the heads are in this oblong shape, which is usually associated with creating a warm and articulate sound at the same time. The yarns they are using, as you might have guessed from the design and the name, are a combination of synthetic yarn and wool yarns. And as for the durability of the heads, they seem like they're pretty strong, but you have to also remember that these are a loose yarn wrap. They're deliberately wrapped looser than something like the wave wraps, which are wrapped like a very tight fish ball. Now, when you go down to the birch shafts, now this is one of my favorite things about Marimba One mallets is their shafts. I don't think there's any other manufacturer that makes birch shafts as smooth as Marimba One. Like seriously, the lacquer on this thing is just Snoof. You have the engraved logo. Now, obviously, this is the old logo. The newer models have the new Marimba One logo, which I am still mixed feelings about. The engraving feels really premium and really nice. And then you go towards the bottom and you realize, yes, it is a case of smooth ends make friends. These are just some of the most well-rounded and relaxing shafts to feel like. I can literally just like wrap my hands all over this thing and it feels so comfortable. So as we've said in previous Marimba One videos, if you're worried about build quality, the build quality is usually excellent. So you have nothing to worry about. Now let's move on to ergonomics. And yes, Marimba One markets the double helix line as a mid-weight line. 
whatever that means. But you also have to remember Marimba 1 mallets by default are heavier than a lot of other manufacturers because I think they put weights inside the heads to sort of make the balance tilt more forwards. So as a result, these mallets do feel quite heavy. So you know what time it is? It's time to scale up. So the scale up segment is where we use a pocket scale to determine the weight of the mallets in grams. Now obviously this is not an exact weight, I like to call it a relative weight, but it does at least give you an idea of the difference between hardnesses. Now a lot of you guys suggested that I should use a cup and put it on the scale and then press the tear button and weigh the mallets like that. So that's what I'm going to do in this segment, let me know if you like this method better. So we're going to start by putting the cup on the scale and it's going to say something like 280 grams and we're going to press the tear button. So now it's ready to go. Starting off with the DHB6. So if this is correct, these mallets should not weigh the same. One DHB6 weighs 45.4 grams and the other one weighs almost 47. The next model, the DHB5. So one DHB5 weighs 45.4 grams and the other DHB5 weighs 43 grams. So again, a difference of two grams. Ooh. The next model is the DHB4. So we have one DHB4 weighing at about 40 grams. And the other DHB4 weighs about 37. <laughs> 37 grams. Okay, so again, a pretty huge difference between the pair. Okay, so one DHB3 is 38 grams and the other DHB3 is also 38 grams. Okay, not bad. The next one we're going to weigh is the DHB2. So this DHB2 weighs 35 grams and the other DHB2 weighs 35 grams as well. Okay, so this is probably the most equal one. That kind of makes sense because these mallets are a bit newer. And finally, the DHB1, the lightest of them all. So one DHB1 is 31 grams and then the other one is 33 point... 30, almost 34 grams. Okay, so that one has a pretty big difference as well. And just for reference, the round sound fives are much lighter than the double helixes. For example, here is one round sound five which is the heaviest in the series, and that's 34 grams. Yeah, I hope Marimba 1 has improved the QC situation with that. And the other thing is, you might have noticed the weight difference between models is huge. For example, the sixes and fives feel like they're part of one family. But once you move up to the fours, they're like way lighter. So if you're looking for a mallet series that is equally weighted across the range, this is not the one. If you wanted to use these mallets for two mallet purposes, or if you wanted to use just like two or three models that are close to each other, like say two, three, four, then I think you'd be okay. And with that, we're now gonna move on to the sound test. So if you're enjoying this video right now, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Here is the sound test. Thank you. 
sound-wise, it actually sounds quite good. I find that the sounds that it produces are quite round, quite warm with some articulation, very clear, no contact sound, I don't think. So it sounds pretty good. My favorite double helixes have to be these two, the twos and the threes, because they're least likely to have the weight variance for some reason. They happen to be the most versatile. They can sound pretty good in all ranges as two mallet mounts. As four mallets, they work as well, but Mm, I don't know. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of the Double Helix series? Because this is a very popular mallet series and I'd like to know what you think. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we are going to be making more videos like this over the next few months. So please hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads. And for some of you guys, I'll see you guys in Hong Kong next week again, <laughs> because we're gonna be going over there as part of a concert series. More info about that is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching the show again, and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night. <laughs>